the channel. I am so glad to be here with all of you today, and I'm glad you're here with me. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I am so grateful that you give me the opportunity to do these videos and be able to talk to all of you because I am not much of a talker, but I do try every day and I get better and better thanks to every one of you. So thank you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Estelle, but I go by the budgeting introvert on Instagram and YouTube. And I love saving money because it can be fun. Growing up, I didn't think it was fun. It was just something parents told you to do, you know, and I wish I would have listened more back then, but I am listening to myself now and learning that it can be exciting if you just play some games sometimes <laughs> and have a little structure. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button. I welcome you and I look forward to engaging with you in the comments and following your own journey if you happen to have a YouTube channel. So this video won't be any games or anything like that. It's just going to be a quick um, stuffing of my two binders, my sinking funds and my subscription binders, and some things have changed from the last time you've seen these videos. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start with the sinking funds because so much has changed. But before I do, let's get the cash going because this is cash that's going to cover both binders, of course. So let me moisten my fingertips and pull the cash into frame. And let's see what we're working with here today. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. 122 we have here. And, oh, I have some stories to tell you guys. <laughs> oh, boy. I've had quite the time as of recently. So, let's just get into this. <laughs> Uh, whew. but I'm here to share. It's my financial journey and I want to show you. So car wash, um, uh, last, probably when you guys see this video, my, I don't, I'm not sure when I'll post it, but we had a monsoon hit here. I got my car washed and a monsoon hit and it flooded. My friend's apartment got flooded. Um, uh, mine's didn't, but my car was parked outside because I was at work at the time and it, my car was disgusting. There's no other way to put that. Um, and that's only part of the problem where the money went because I did go get my car rewashed, but I took a poor, a huge portion of this money for something else. And we'll get into that in a minute. But for now, let's just put in the $9 that I usually allocate for my car wash. I was able to get it washed, you know, more recently, but it still hurt to have to take out of this fund because I, I do try to keep a certain amount in here for the days when it's like, oh, I, I think I want to get a car wash. You know, that's usually why I keep that fresh and ready, but I had to take a lot of it out because of this area, car maintenance. I have nothing to stuff in here and there's nothing in here. And I'll tell you why. My car check tire pressure light came on and I ignored it for a while because I'm just that smart. And I kept driving around until eventually I was like, I need to get my tires looked at. Maybe it was just a nail. No, it wasn't just a nail. I had two tires that were just rotting out and they could explode at any minute, which, you know, of course, is dangerous. So... I had to buy two new tires. So what I had saved in here, what I had prepared to put in here is obviously gone and it didn't even cover the full amount. So, you know, my emergency fund, I'm still working how I'm going to do that. My emergency fund probably will cover it, which that's what it's for. So it's going to be a couple changes and a couple videos you'll see, but I'm going to have to start to build this back up and I'm going to have to start, you know, really really building this up because this is like the second time this has happened to me this year this did help a little bit but I just wish you know I could at least 
not spend all of it at once, you know? So no car maintenance. But car registration is still going strong, and that's going to get $11. You know, for car registration, it's not due until next year. But I at least wanted to start this year for my car registration. And, you know, I should have enough by the time my registration comes around new. So there's that. My cat... I usually allocate $40 for her. This really came in handy when I had to take her to the vet and she didn't spend all her money. So she has 15, 20, 25. She has $25 that she had left over, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, yes. So that's going to go in here for her, which I'm so happy because it really, I never know, you know, there's something I might need for her. So, you know, she has now 110, 120, 135, 45, 55, 61, 161, which is actually very good. There's nothing that I want to buy for her or anything like that, but hey, you never know. Emergencies happen, right? Now, if only this could be my car maintenance <laughs> for gaming, because I like to game, that's going to get $8. So five, six, seven, and eight. Haven't really spent much of this, I don't think. Haven't really bought anything, but I mean, it's there. And I didn't count my other envelopes. So, I mean, I might sometimes count an envelope. I might not count to see what I have in there. But since I'm here, I have 20, 40, 60, 85, 90, 92, 93, 94. 4, 95, 96, 97, 98. So 98, which is pretty good for that one. So that's it for sinking fun. Let's bring in my subscription binder. Let's keep this ball rolling. No time to stop. Triple A. It's going to get $5. This isn't due to the end of this year, so I still have time. So we have 20, 45, 55, 65. I think that's all I need for this one. I'm going to double check. If so, I'm going to deposit this into my account, but I am going to keep going so I can get a month ahead or a year ahead in this case because it's a yearly one. So I'm not going to stop saving for this one, but I think that's pretty good. Amazon Prime. Anybody enjoyed Prime Day when it was here? I know I did. <laughs> I got myself a hooded uh, dryer so I could sit under it. I like to dry my, my hair. My hair is naturally curly, and I'm trying to do better with my hair instead of always putting it in a ponytail. So much easier in a ponytail. Um, so I wanted to get a hoodie dryer and I got it for 20 bucks. So I'm appreciative for that. So thank you, Amazon. Prime, we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 117 for that one. This one should be close to being complete to pay for my Prime subscription. Apple Music. Really, really hoping to, you know, get to go on the yearly plan for this one because I love Apple Music. It is my go-to. We have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 95. So we are almost there. Almost there. Like maybe two more times and we will have the money we need to go yearly for that. So yay. Because I think it's 110 if I'm not mistaken. Costco. Now I'm going to admit, I'm salty about this one. I'm upset about this. Um, and I'll tell you why. Let me just grab the $5 first. I thought I was going to be finished with this one. I said I had one more to go and I was going to be finished. We have 20, 30, 45, wait, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52. I was like, I probably go two more times with this one. And I would be done, but Costco raised their price. 
<laughs> they raised it. Now, granted, they only raised it, I think, $5. But still, I was about to be like, all I got to do is put one more in there. And then I'm going to be close to be done because it's only $60. And I'll have $62. So, I mean, I'm good. And they said, well, I don't know where you got that $60 from because it's $65 now. So, sorry. So, thanks a lot, Costco. Still love you, though. Next up is Hulu which I really need to watch more of. I do not watch it like I should. I'm paying for it, so I should watch it. <laughs> so anybody have any subscriptions out there that you know you should watch or at least cancel and you don't? I just don't want to cancel Hulu because something might come on that I want to see. And if I don't have Hulu, I'm going to be upset. So 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 67. You know, but to be fair, I think I only pay $1.99 for Hulu. That's why I don't cry about it because I got it during the Black Friday sale. So it was $1.99. So can't really complain, can you? You know, Peacock. Oh, the beloved Peacock, another staple that I really should watch more than I do. That one's going to get 10. So let's put that in there. We now have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, and 3. So 93. Okay. Canva. Got to keep building this up because I love using Canva. And it's how I do my thumbnails, even though I know my thumbnails aren't the greatest. I do try my best, but it's an easy platform to use. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. We're getting there slowly. We'll have the money by next year, so that's okay. And finally, cap cut. We'll get my last 10. And that'll be 10, 20, 30, 45, 55, 60. So we have 60 for cap cut. Okay. And just to make it fair, let me go back to the sinking funds because I didn't count, you know, the first two that I did. So let's be fair. So we're going to go back. And for car wash, which I used to have a lot in here for car wash. Can you hear my disappointment? Um, I now have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. <sighs> which is enough to get the car wash, but I also like to give a tip. So the tip is not in here yet, so I can't tip the way I want to. So that is kind of disappointing for me, but I'll get there. And car registration. This one we didn't get to count. So we have 20, 30, 45, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. So 60 for car registration. My car registration, I have to also include smog in that. And that alone costs anywhere between 20 and $25. So I still have a ways to go with that one. So that's it for counting these up. And that is it for stuffing these binders. So as you can see, the cash tray is empty, so I'm going to close it, and that means it is the end of the video. Thank you so much for sticking with me and hearing about my sad car maintenance journey. It was so disappointing and so heartbreaking. Oh, Let me know if you've had any issues with your car where you were like, I wish I had the money to pay for it if something happened to it. I'd love to hear that I'm not alone in this journey when it comes to your car. If you like the video, please click the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I look forward to catching you in the next one. Bye!